give you another update on some more ongoing developments with the BRZ Toyota 86. So of course we know over many years it's been popular to improve these cars with um, flex fuel upgrades, custom ECU tunes, superchargers, turbochargers and all the different designs and upgrades of part of those things. But of course what we don't get to see very often is the net difference between some cars of what they had and what they've got now. And the car behind me belongs to a client of ours that for some time now has had the uh, Sprintec supercharger kit on it, which is the, the uh, entry level kit with the charge cooler and running factory standard engine internals. He's been happy with it for a long time, does lots of track days and recently decided he wanted to take a risk with an upgraded in power um, and obviously not changing anything with the engine internals. Now this is not something we normally recommend because obviously nobody wants to blow up these engines but these days with the ongoing supply of second hand parts and engines these cars are relatively cheaper and easier to almost treat the engine as a throwaway device as long as you're willing to accept the inconvenience. This particular client has decided to go for the next step up in the larger uh, supercharger assembly with the right size custom uh, pulley to give a net increase in boost which just absolutely livens up this engine but of course running the high compression that this engine does it starts putting it in an environment where it's only a matter of time before the engine will fail now how long that is or how when that'll happen anybody can make that decision depending on how big a risk you want to take around there's some people in the world taking amazing risks with these engines and they last forever and then you've got other people who take a small risk and the engines fail it's a bit of a lottery but this particular car now with the upgraded uh, blower running a back-to-back -back test, whether it's 98 or flex fuel, because it is running our flex fuel custom kit, 35 kilowatts increase in power over the original blower. So that gives you a bit of an idea of the capacity of the larger size blower from Sprintex with the right size pulley. And this guy is going to have a lot of fun at his next track day. And it is also his daily driver. Uh, he's a real estate agent, so he carries a lot of people around in the car on a regular basis. And um, I'll show you some uh, still photos and a dyno graph to allow you to understand the net increase in torque because the torque is the biggest thing on this particular car is going to make it so much quicker and fun to drive. So yeah, you have it. The next level upgrade with the Toyota 86 or Supercharger running the bigger Sprintex blower, running flex fuel so you can run whether it's 98 octane fuel or E85 or a mixture in between, the ECU will self-calibrate. and. Um, Follow us on Facebook, YouTube and Twitter. We'll load some video uh, still photos to our Facebook page. Have a look at the bottom of this link. And for now, we'll finish off the final small adjustments with the ethanol changeover. And um, it's a bit late here at MIT. It's time to go home. Bye for now.